What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out Curic Section Light, which is a sectioning plugin from Curic that allows you to basically do section cuts by materials and tags and other things like that. We'll talk about why that's important as a part of the video. Big thank you to my supporters on Patreon for voting on this extension. Um, Patreon is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extensions that I cover on the channel every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the channel, maybe vote on the extensions I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so you can download Curic Section Lite for free on Curic's website right here. I will link to this in the notes down below. So you can go to his Gumroad page. You can download that by entering a value of $0. So in addition, if you do like what Curic is doing, I do recommend that you go through and maybe donate something to him to support him for what he's doing with SketchUp extensions. So again, I will link to that in the notes down below. Now let's take a look at what this does. So basically what this does is this is a tool that you can activate in order to create section planes based on things like tags and materials. Um, so what this does is basically you can create a new section plane. All right, so what I want to do is I want to click on the button for create new section. What that's going to do is that's just going to allow me to create a section plane inside of SketchUp. Not really different than what you've done before. Um, I'm just going to call this example section. Hit the enter key. And so what this is going to do is this is going to ask us to name this over here as well as set if it's going to cut things based on the tag or on the material. It's also going to ask if we want to align the view and we're going to say yes. So for this one we're just going to call this tag section. Or we're going to click on OK. We're going to leave it set as cut by tag. And so when you do this what this is going to do is this is going to go through and this is going to cut based on certain tags inside of your model. So the first thing I want to know is this is not going through and just cutting an object if it's on a certain tag. So that's not what it's doing. What it's doing is it's coming in here and it's applying a material to a face um, or making the visibility look different depending on the different settings in here. So notice how what this does is this creates a view on your page right here and you can go through and set this to parallel projection and then update this but basically what it does is it creates a view right here and it gives you some settings that are in here and so the first thing we want to do is we want to jump over and we want to look at the tags that are in here I'm actually going to delete this out so we can start from the beginning so we're going to go ahead and apply this we'll update our section and there we go so notice how right now what this is doing is this isn't really doing anything but once you define a tag, what you can do is you can set this to apply a certain material based on the tag that's in there. All right, and so if we jump over and look at the outliner on this model, what I've done is I've created groups. Uh, let's jump into the actual outliner right here. We'll keep our tags open as well. But what I've done is I've created a group for my exterior walls and I've created a group for my interior walls. And then using those, I have placed those on different layers or different tags. So if I click on walls exterior, notice how my walls exterior group is on a walls exterior tag, which shows up in my tag manager right here. And so what we can do is inside of Curic section light, we can click on the plus button right here to define an item. So in this case, for example, I'm gonna set this so that my walls exterior get something applied to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my walls exterior and I'm gonna set them where this applies a material to them. So I'm just gonna click on apply, and then we're gonna go back. We'll notice how now inside of my tags manager, I've got a setting that allows me to set what material is applied to anything on that tag. So let's say that my exterior walls were gonna be like concrete or something. So there's actually a curic concrete on here that we can use, but we can click on update section. Well, notice what this is doing is this is applying the concrete material to everything that's on that exterior walls tag, but it's not applying it to everything on the interior walls tag. So this could be really helpful for adding like hatching or other things like that. I know it's always been kind of frustrating trying to do that inside of SketchUp to get it to layout. But um, what we could do, for example, again, is we could create a new tag. So we're just going to go to walls interior and just add this over here. Well, now we can click the drop down and we can select what's done to the walls interior. So for the interior walls, I could set this 
so that these now get maybe like a brick material or a color. Um, let's go with the brick material just for this example. But if we click on the update section, notice how I can apply that hatching to this object based on the tag that it's on. And the cool thing about this is, is this is very dynamic, meaning you can always come in here and adjust it. So you're not just like stuck with the hatching that's in here. And this is a really fast way to do this. And you could also use like a custom material. So let's say for example, and in this case, I'm just gonna draw a rectangle right here. So let's say for example, that I was to draw a rectangle right here, and we were to apply a different material. So let's just go into our patterns section for right now. So let's say I wanted like this black lines or something like that. So we could just apply that to this face maybe something with some bigger black lines in here. And so notice how black lines isn't showing up on the list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this and then reopen it. But then if I jump into my tags and go look for black lines, notice how now that that's in my model, it's gonna show up in this list. Well, what I can do is I can set this where my black lines shows up on the exterior wall. So this is something that you might've found in like scalp or something like that, but there wasn't a ton of that in the past. But then the cool thing about this is not only can you set this by tags, which is interesting depending on your workflow, but you can also set this by material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new section plane. So I'm gonna click in here for new section. I'm gonna apply this plane right here. And we're just gonna call this one materials. And we're gonna call this materials. But then this one, we're gonna say cut by material. Or we're gonna say align view, yes. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to do the same thing, but by materials. So if I click on the plus button right here, remember how before this was pulling the tags list? Well, what this is doing is this is pulling the materials list. And so let's say for example, that I wanted this concrete form four by eight, I wanted the stucco cladding and I wanted the antique brick in here. So I'm gonna click on apply. That's those three materials right here. Well, what you can do for each one of these materials is you can pick them and you can select a pattern. So for this one, for example, I could apply the Keurig brick material and click on update section. We'll notice how the Keurig brick material is now gonna show up on my antique brick. I could add another one, whoops, I could add an, another one for my concrete, where this one is gonna show my curate concrete material. I'm gonna update my section. So notice how this is now showing a hatching on this object. And then finally, for my stucco, let's say I wanted to apply one of those black lines materials. I can just click on that, click on update section. Notice how what that allows us to do is that allows us to apply materials based on a section cut inside of SketchUp without having to do any kind of back end work. And notice how also I can toggle back and forth between them. So in my tag section, notice how this is still showing up in here. And then in my materials section, if I toggle this, then I'm gonna get a different look right here. So you can toggle back and forth between the two if you're looking for more options as well. All right, so that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this extension. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you wanna vote on the next extension that I cover, make sure you check out my Patreon page, which I will link to in the notes down below. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.